All right, guys, just back here with another video. So what I want to do today is I want to have a look at the national vote projection versus the national seat projection averages, right? So there's this little slider here. I did this on one of my earlier videos, but I want to do best case scenario and worst case scenario as well and kind of break it down a little bit. So I'm on 338 Canada, which again is a really good site for in terms of polling averages. So what they do is they'll take, you know, Abacus and Nanos and you know, Main Street and all these other polling, and they take the average of all those pollings and they show you the numbers and what it looks like. So the national vote projection right now for the Liberals, 23.2%, 43% for the Conservatives, 169 for the NDP, 4.1 for the for the Greens, 9.1 for the Bloc, and 3.7 for the People's Party. The seat projection averages based off of this is going to be, so 221 for the Conservatives, 52 for the Liberals. The NDP would have 22 for the Greens, 48 for the Bloc. So the NDP would come in fourth place in this model. Now, in terms of what I think is going to happen, best case scenario, I do think the Liberals are gonna get less. So let's move them down to 20.8. Let's move the Conservatives up to 46%. So this, again, is best case scenario if you're a fan of this country, not if you're a liberal. Uh, let's go here, 14%. Then we'll go, we'll give the PPCs about 4%. Give the Greens about 5 Move that down a little bit. So now that it's equals to 100% of the vote. So when we get the seat projection here, look at that. 259 for the Conservatives, 18 for the Liberals, 13 for the uh, NDP, and 52 for the Bloc. So the Bloc in this case scenario would be 52 uh, seats, making them the official opposition, which, again, I don't think that the Bloc should be a federal party. But since they are, it would be kind of funny if they did better than the Liberals and the NDP nationally. It just would be. So, I mean, I think that for a conservative or even if you're a populist or an independent, this is kind of what you're hoping for. Considering the PPC, they just don't have enough support. They don't have a good leader. He's in third place in his own riding. So if you're a populist, if you're a libertarian, if you're on Team Canada, you're voting for, for the conservatives if you want your vote to count. So best case scenario. Now let's go best case scenario for the NDP in this situation. So that would take some from the... Let's just move the PPC down here to about 2%. Move the Greens back down here to about 3%. There we go. So again, best case scenario for NDP is 19 seat, 19% 19 of the vote gets seat projection. So in this scenario, the NDP comes in third. The block still comes as the second as the official opposition and 18% sorry, 18 votes, seats, or ridings for the Liberals, making them in fourth place. Now, this is what they deserve. And I do think that this number is the 18 that you're seeing here with the Liberals. I do think that they might get more than that, but I don't see them getting more than 35 seats. In fact, I can see them way closer to that 20 mark. In this scenario, they would get 18. Now, for the scary part, let's go to the worst case scenario if you're Canadian and love this country. So best case scenario for the NDP, best case scenario for the Liberals would be 25.6. Worst case scenario would be 40%. And let's get this up to 100 here. So let's move, well, you know, let's give a little bit of uh, love to the PPC here at 3.4%. <laughs> so we'll get the seat proje uh, projection. So in this case, the Liberals, we get 88 seats. That is absolutely best case scenario. And that would include them winning some ridings outside of Toronto and Montreal, which, I mean, other than Atlantic Canada, which again, doesn't have that many ridings. This is a very high number, in my opinion. I don't think they're going to come anywhere close to this. But even if they do, even if they come in second place, look at this, 181 for the Conservatives. This is worst case scenario. They still get majority. You can't actually make a simulation right now that's worse for the Conservatives than a majority. Now, 181, in my opinion, would be very disappointing. I, I would not be happy with that. I mean, I'd be happy at least he's got, Pierre Paulia would get a majority, but I'd still, like, Canada, what are you doing? 
88 seats, they deserve way less. The worst they've ever done was in 2011, I believe, when Michael Ignatiev got 34 seats. Justin Trudeau is the most corrupt prime minister in this country. And his MPs, again, they're forming the most corrupt government we've had in the entire history of this country. If they get 88 seats, that's ridiculous. The other model that I had, the other simulation that I had, rather, I think it's going to be something like this. And actually, I'll honestly, I'll be honest with you. I think the liberals actually might get less than 20%, but I can't, they have the average, like, so the, the high average and the low average, and you can't go below the low average. So 20.8% it is. I think they're going to get worse than that. And so let's NDP at 18, let's put that over at 18% here. That's probably what they're going to be like too. And then, you know, we'll move uh, the PPCs down a little bit here. Close enough to 100, and let's get this seat projection again. So again, 254 for the Conservatives, 24 for the NDP, 46 for the Bloc, and 18 for the Liberals. I don't know if it's going to be that low, but that being said, most of their votes are coming from Toronto, Montreal, and some in Atlantic Canada. They'll get a good amount of votes in terms of the percentage, way more than they deserve, but I think it's going to be a little bit less than 20, but their seat projection will still be around the same because they're... Again, they don't get many votes west of Ontario. In fact, they're not going to get that many votes west of Quebec this time around, in my opinion. But I kind of do think that this is a little bit low. I think they're going to win a few more ridings in this, although I would love to see this. This would show me that Canada is actually waking up. 18 seats. By far the worst they've ever done. Almost by half. That is what they deserve. They deserve even worse than that. But let's be honest, Toronto and Montreal is very... <laughs> Um, again, I don't even want to call them liberal. They're just very, they're woke leftists, right? That, that's what they are. They're not, I can't, I can't call them liberals because there are actual classic liberals out there and they must be insulted when you hear the word liberal associated with Justin Trudeau, right? Like if you're like a, a supporter of Robert Kennedy Jr. Like me, for example, he's a classical liberal. He's liberal. Justin Trudeau is to the way far left of that. <clears throat> and again, I don't know what you want to call that totalitarianism authoritarianism, communist wannabe, whatever it is, it's certainly not liberal. But they are under the liberal name, so they are tarnishing the liberal name in a big way. <clears throat> so, I am also very curious what you guys think of this. If you had this simulator, do you think this is accurate? Do you think it's going to be better for the conservatives? Again, I think they're going to get better than 46%. I think they're going to get closer to 50 and even Nick Nanos came out, who's Trudeau's buddy, by the way, he came out and said that without Quebec, Pierre Polyev would get about 50% of the votes. I think he's still going to get close to that. Again, this is Nick Nanos saying this, who's very biased towards the liberal when he's polling. And if he's got 50% without Quebec, I think the number would actually be even higher than that without Quebec. I think they're going to get 50 with Quebec, to be honest with you, or if not, very, very close to it. But what do you guys think of this? these simulations? Do you think the worst case scenario for the conservatives at 181 seats is more accurate or do you think 254 is more accurate or do you think it's going to be somewhere in, the, in between? Let me know what you think. I always value your guys' opinions, your thoughts, your questions. So don't be shy when uh, leaving comments in the comment section. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow this channel. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will be back shortly with a new video.